Hey boys and girls, it's time to do our 101A guided class practice, just like we would do in class. All right, so the first thing you have to do for your name is measure the line segment in inches. Then for the date, you have to draw a line segment that's one inch longer than the line segment for your name. If you've done this in class, a lot of you have rulers at home. Mrs. Fort and I made paper rulers for you, so you can use those, or some of you have your uh, ruler in your bin that you got from school. All right, let's look at the first problem. Number one, Leah had 50 paper clips. She gave 18 paper clips to Anna. How many paper clips does Leah have now? So if she gave some away, that should be your clue that you need to do subtraction. Maybe I will try to do it on my whiteboard here. So we have 50 minus 18. You should be doing this in your work as well. There's more on the floor. Go next door, borrow 10 more. Five becomes a four, zero becomes a 10. Zero minus eight is two, four minus one is that one, three, 32. So you should have written down 32. And what does she have? Paper clips. All right, next problem. Circle the best number sentence to use to estimate the sums of 51 and 38. So I'm going to look at the first number of 51. And I think in my head, the, the two tens are 50 and 60. Well, I know that 51 would round down to 50. So I'm going to cross out all of the 60 plus. So I'm going to cross off 60 plus 30 and I'm going to cross off 60 plus 40. So now my options are 50 plus 30 and 50 plus 40. Well, let's look at the 38. 38. So I know the two tens are 30 and 40. And I know the 8 tells me to round up. So it would have to be 40. So the problem, the problem should be 50 plus 40 equals 90. That is the one you should have circled. All right, number three, show how two children will share the markers equally. So you know how to do this. Eight, just share. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there should be four in four tallies, four markers, whatever you wanted to draw. And one half of eight is four. Now the next one is 15. For 15, 15 is an odd number. So for 15, I'm going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and my extra is 15. So how many are in each group? There are seven, or excuse me, one half of 15 would be seven, and then you can't forget about this remainder one. All right, number four goes to what we just talked about today. So here is the shape they are looking at, and this would be a pyramid. Number five, we're looking at a graph for number five. So the graph is called number of absent children. On the first one, it says, on what day were the fewest children absent? So fewest means littlest. So you would have to look for the littlest amount of bars. And if you're looking, the littlest amount would be Monday right there. The next one, 
on what day were fewer children absent than the day before? That one is a little bit trickier. So if you look at Monday, Monday you had two. Tuesday, it went up. Wednesday, the number of children went up. But Thursday, it went down. So your answer would be Thursday. That one was kind of difficult. And then the last one says, how many days were the same number of children absent? It doesn't want the day names, it wants the number. So if I am looking at my graph here, I'll have to look at which two are have the same with the bar. And this one, and this one, so it would be two. All right, now that moves us down to the um, subtraction problems and addition problems and multiplication problems. And I will do these on the board for you. All right, the first one is 65 minus 18. I look right away. There's more on the floor. Go next door. File 10 more. 6 becomes a 5. 5 becomes 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. 5 minus 1 is 4. 47. Hopefully you're able to follow along with me at home. Remember, you can always pause the video. Next one. 90 minus 38. Always start in the ones column. There's more on the floor. Go next door. File 10 more. 9 becomes an 8. 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 8 minus 3 is 5. 52. Now we need our moving on to addition. 38 plus 91. 8 plus 1 is 9. 3 plus 9 is 12. So I would just write the 12 and you have 129. Here we go, multiplication. So we have 4 times 10. Remember that we can do 4 groups and they each have 10 in there. 10, 20, 30, 40. And the next one is 6 times 10. So I would do the same thing. I can draw six circles, put 10 in each, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So that was your lesson for 101. Your homework is to do uh, 101B. Make sure you get that in. And if you have any questions, contact me. See you later.